Once the ALD reaches high vacuum, the cassette will be placed onto the stage. The ALD should then return to the home position. When you are finished, close the ALD window by selecting Exit from the File drop-down menu. You should now be able to run your process. When your process is complete, you can begin to unload the cassette. To do this, you must first select the ALD button from the EBX menu. The ALD GUI should then appear. Select the right arrow button at the bottom of the GUI to send the cassette from the stage to the platform. The software should detect the presence of the cassette and will ask you to verify that you want to unload it. Click the Yes button. The software will automatically unload the cassette. The cassette will reload into the ALD. It will take approximately five minutes for the ALD to vent to atmosphere. At this point, you should unlock the door and remove the cassette from the platform. Make sure that you continue to wear the second pair of gloves when handling the cassette. Place the cassette upside down on the stainless steel table and remove the backing plate. Remove your wafer and then replace the backing plate. Place the cassette back into the container box and replace the foam cover over the top of the cassette. Once the container lid is securely fastened, place the container box back under the shelf in its original location. When you're finished using the JBX9300, you should log out at the access controller. A wet bench is available to users for the purposes of developing resist, cleaning substrates, performing a liftoff process, or any other reasons a wet bench might be required. You should now have a pretty good understanding of the proper etiquette and basic procedures for loading a sample into a cassette, loading a cassette into the system, and unloading a cassette from the system. If you have any further questions in regard to the content of this training video, or if you wish to learn more about the processing capabilities of the JBX9300FS, please contact the trainer for this equipment. Please do not ask Charlie.